As believers, you and I are called to radiate hope. It reminds me of something else that Jesus said we're supposed to do. Shine. 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 What does a candle have to do to shine? Be a candle. A candle doesn't light itself. God, we light the candle. God lights us, and then what do we do? We shine. It's how we live. Our faith is built just like that. Our hope is just like that. You radiate hope by just living the way that God created us to live. He did. You can't radiate. You can't radiate God's hope, his life on your own. You just can't do it. So what we do as believers, this is intergalactic, super duper, really, really hard stuff to understand. You ready for this? We plug our lives into God and we radiate who he is. I know that's very deep. It's as deep as plugging in your Christmas lights. What happens when you plug in your Christmas lights? Well, mine don't work, but <laughs> I don't know what yours do because mine are Christmas lights in the most archaic sense of the word. There's more duct tape and stuff on those things than you ever can imagine, right? We plug into the source and we shine. He's the vine. What are we? The branches. The branches are connected to the vine, the source of life. When you're connected to God, when the Spirit dwells inside of you, you shine, you radiate, and you allow the Holy Spirit to be who He desires to be in you. When you allow the Holy Spirit to start inside of you and create a flame, that candle, that flame starts to burn, and from the inside out, you and I start to change. We transform. And guys, as believers, you can't help but to radiate who God is.